Yo, it's Matt. We're here to talk toys, but first, a bit of context. There was a toy store next to the garage. Thought Ben might like them. They reminded me of his aliens. Ugh, Grandpa! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> the past year has been pretty awesome for the Ben 10 community at large, I'm not gonna lie. It's been really great in terms of on-screen media. We've had the Ben 10 movie, this really good lost media that's been uncovered. There's also what's called post-canon media, which is where creators will contribute to the show's canon after it's said and done. We've seen it with Derek J. Wyatt's work, uh, finally depicting Jet Ray. We've seen a bunch of Tom Perkins aliens show up on Twitter, and again, it's been insane. But as you can see from the different memorabilia around me, I've been focused on a different part of the fandom, the toys. And not just any collectible, lost media collectibles. Around the time Omniverse was ending, the last hurrah for the toy line was the Galactic Monsters rebranding. You know everything about the Ben 10 toys, right? I do, yes. Is this a new show? Yes, absolutely. So the, the 10 new episodes uh -huh. for this coming season yeah. will have Ben going to a special new planet called Transylvania. Transylvania? Where... A couple of my favorites from that era are the Hyper Alien Stinkfly, never got released, we've only seen photo proofs of it, but painted the size-accurate roleplay Omnitrix, which originally came with a Crash Hopper helmet set and was going to be sold on its own. A few of them had made it to market, but not nearly as many as the mainline figures like Frankenstrike, Ghost Freak, and a couple of the translucent variant figures. It's one thing to have seen the full painted models make it all the way to Toy Fair and have them be out on the market in some rare shape or form. They're still out there, being sold today, being circulated, albeit some of them kind of at high prices. Toy markets be like that sometimes. But what's even sadder than that as a collector and as a lover of Ben 10 and toys, a nice little Venn diagram. Mm. is the toys that never got to see the light of day past unpainted proofs. Derek ended up giving us some for iGuy, Accelerate, the Forever Ninja, there's one for Crabdozer that's out there. There's even an OV10K figure that was supposed to make it in the last Galactic Monsters line. It got so close it even had its own set of concept art for the boxes. The most we got were these turnaround proof sheets. And that's all we were ever going to have. Until, out of the shadows, steps my good friend Jose Carlo. Around the time that Derek J. Wyatt started contributing to the post-media side of things, he mentioned an account on Instagram known as Border Bronco Creations, which also had an eBay page. Upon exploring it, I saw there were faithful recreations in 3D of the unreleased Upgrade and Accelerate Bandai models, done faithfully right from those turnarounds that Derek gave us. Not only were they available to purchase, but eventually he would start printing them and I got my own copies. Even before quarantine, before I had to kind of hunker down, I started getting into a little bit of toy customization myself. Two of my most prized repaints are Gravitac and Kyber sitting behind me, but the finest jewel in my collection is one that's homemade from the heart. Everybody's favorite slippery boy, Maka Trout. Also in lieu of not being able to find the size accurate roleplay Omnitrix on the market, I ended up customizing one of my own using the Omniverse Battle Chamber one. I had to take a gamble and almost managed to break it, but it paid off. And then right after I finished, somebody else on Twitter ended up finding it on the market somehow. Because, you know, why not? The more I started getting into customs, though, the more I saw this is actually an opportunity to turn something that I really genuinely love doing into a sort of business. Eventually, I teamed up officially with Porta Bronco Collections to paint the first wave of toys, Accelerate and Upgrade. Recently, I just finished the first five in my collection, and I'm going to be doing three more in a second wave, all upgrades. I've painted one for myself, one for Alex, three for clients, and then three more are going to be for another client. I am now exceedingly experienced in painting upgrades. If you happen to be a recipient of any of these figures in the first two waves I've done, here's some helpful tips and tricks on how to take care of your figure. For both of the figures, there's certain things you need to know about the way that they are manufactured, as well as the way that they're modeled, that are gonna give you context as to why they're put together the way they are, why they're transported the way they are, and why you probably really should not be playing with them like regular action figures. The main point of focus is the fact that these aren't articulated like normal figures are. They're modeled with articulation in mind, but this first wave was 3D print only, and doesn't have the normal metal pegs you'd see in knee or elbow joints. They're super common in articulation for Bandai type figures. Accelerate's head is on a ball joint, which if you put it on just straight out of the box, it's gonna be a decent bit loose. This one's from my collection and it has the head super glued on, as well as 
literally all of its other parts. The knee joints and mine were already filled in by Jose Carlo when he sent it to me, and every one that I've done has also been filled in and super glue shot. Nice and tight. The hip and shoulder joints are kind of bendable, but I mean, it's a really thin peg in there and I super would not risk it. Upgrade is a different story though. I don't actually have the one from my collection to show you guys because the very first one I ever made was actually given to my good buddy Alex as a Christmas gift. Shout out to my boy. Mwah. This is one of the figures I'm gonna be sending to my clients and it's shipping out tomorrow. This one has false joints in the elbows, which again are sealed shut. The only remaining articulation being the shoulders and hips. Upgrade's a bit hardier and it can handle a little bit more movement than the Accelerate one in comparison, but not by much. I super glued all the joints on my upgrade figure and the day before I shot the pictures for it, I accidentally snapped the leg right off the peg. Also for the upgrade figures I'm sending out, the head is also loose. And while with the Accelerate figures, I would highly suggest putting glue on that one. I think it's more of an optional thing just because of how delicate it is. Aside from the elbow joints, which I've already taken care of, there's not a lot on upgrade that needs to be glued. If you're not careful with his balance though, he can fall. And if you don't have the head glued on, it can probably fly across the room and then maybe get eaten by your dog. I don't know. So no head? For those of you who have financially supported me by buying the figures so far, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to turn this hobby into some form of a career. It's actually really gratifying and I'm happy to be able to do it for you. That being said, I am going to be taking a bit of a break after wave two because it's a little bit strenuous, but I want to keep doing it. Mainly, I've got a couple other big projects that are coming up. I'm going to be doing some big commissions for a Mighty Ducks podcast. I've also been in talks with an old high school colleague to maybe do illustration for one of her novels. We'll see where 2021 goes. Hopefully better. When I reopen regular commissions as well as toy commissions, y'all will be the first to know. Big thanks to everybody for sticking with me through 2020 as the channel has very slowly amped back up. Just, just a just tiny little bit. I'm working on the Ben 10 Timeline doc still, working on videos about the Ben 10 Timeline doc, and I'm also very grateful to be getting help from the Ben 10 community on that front. That's about all from my side. Eat your vegetables. Be kind to each other. Wear a goddamn mask in public. Love ya.